We are working towards what we believe is the Holy Grail, achieving an optical defibrillation of the heart, where a gentle light will be given to a patient and will completely restore the normal functioning of the heart. A typical electrical defibrillation shock acts very quickly and almost violently excites the heart, terminating the arrhythmia rapidly. What we observed in the optogenetic defibrillation process was a gradual slowing of the arrhythmia, which eventually led to termination, but without the abrupt punch of a typical electrical defibrillation shock. Our collaborators at the University of Bonn were able to embed light-sensitive proteins in the mouse heart that respond to the light that is delivered to the heart. And that successfully result in termination of the arrhythmia. My lab conducted simulations to show that the arrhythmia in the much larger human heart can be defibrillated in the same approach. So you can so see this, is the this patient has infarct. We used an actual patient model, reconstructed from MRI scans of a patient who had a heart attack and was actually vulnerable to arrhythmia. So what we discovered was that in order to work in the human heart, ostensibly, we would need to use red light, which is a longer wavelength and is going to penetrate much deeper in the thicker walls of the human heart. We are able to offline, in a virtual heart, figure out what is the best option to go forward in terms of what is the delivery of the light and what is the best way to achieve a certain distribution of these light-sensitive proteins. But this is the big initial step that demonstrates that this is possible.